Hi everyone this is Jason from Nathaniel welcome to another one of our lessons if you are a subscriber if you are not if you have come here for the first time welcome aboard and also hit that subscribe button so we are going to learn clocks by coldplay and uh, i'm going to use the opportunity i'm sure there's a lot of videos which talk about clocks so i'm going to use the opportunity to make it into like a finger exercise or a very good piano drill which can help you really nail those arpeggios so before i teach you the chord pattern or the arpeggio sequence let me first teach you the chords and how you hold them okay first off your two hands are going to be playing the chords in parallel so you go first chord e flat major and uh, let's discuss the scale the scale is a flat major you may be arguing where is the a flat in the song it's the the chord is not there but the key seems to be a four flat key right so you go first chord e flat major which he plays like this g b flat e flat it's not it's also notated for you you could check it out g b flat e flat and then the next chord is b flat minor played like this f b flat d flat the third chord to our luck is the same chord b flat minor d flat minor again and then the fourth chord in this particular progression is f minor f a flat and c and like most of these great awesome piano intros it's so awesome that it will continue for pretty much the whole song and there's no difference here it's going to go on while the singing also happens go on even during the verse and pretty much all the sections actually so that's about the chords e flat major played as g b flat e flat b flat minor played as f b flat d flat same chord third and f minor to end so let me just do that with some singing so just to get a feel of it then we'll go into the arpeggio pattern lights go out and i can be saved Ties that I tried to swim again, me down upon my knees. Oh, I beg and beg and plead. It'll even go with that. You are. Some of my favorite lyrics is just you and R for people like me who are lyrically challenged. That really helps. But anyway, you could pretty much sing the whole song with these chords, except the bridge where he goes to. The bridge is different. We'll figure that out later. So let's just revise only the intro again, which is also the verse. Times that I try to swim again. Okay, now you may be realizing where is the arpeggio. So coming, coming to that right now. The arpeggio, the way I like to write and understand the pattern is high note, middle note, low note. So in, if you look at my hand, high, middle, low, and you're gonna dual the left and right, copy pasting both the hands. So. you take the same chord and play it in the h m l h m l high middle high middle low high middle low high middle high middle low so you take all the chords and play them like this in that arpeggio little slower middle high middle high middle fingers may help you i'm using this for my left pinky middle index for the right thumb index ring ring generally i use for the black note if it's to the right side not the pinky because as we can see the pinky is a smaller finger so you will have to then move your elbow which i don't recommend so the ring finger for the e flat on the top and both in parallel so you play the whole thing ditto both hands it's go down and na na ta na 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 you this pro 
probably the speed of the song. Also, what I think he does, and what I also like to do, is accent it. So you go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Whack that a little higher, a little harder. Also, hold down your pedal for each chord. Don't forget to lift it bit bit between each uh, chord. Lift, lift, lift. Okay, that's it. Clocks is over. The intro verse. That's it. But the lesson doesn't end here. We are going to do a few drills or a few exercises which you could actually also use to play the song, which I thought were cool. The first thing you could consider is let one hand do high middle low high middle low high middle and let the other hand go in contrary motion with the that hand. So if this goes down, this hand can go so it adds a, it adds some harmonic elements there, right? The notes, except for the B flat, are different. Third, so I'll play you and then show slowly. This is pretty much how I play this song, you know, in a live gig. There we go. The hands, what they're like, this is going this way, and that hand is going that way. So the original was, and now low, middle, high, low, middle, high, low, middle, low, middle, high, low. And this pattern is grouped in three, three, and two. Three quavers, three quavers, and then two quavers. So it gives you a very syncopated effect, and we call it the thresio. We call the, the rhythm tre, as the word suggests, means three. So one. One, uh, one, mm. very popular rhythm. It's used a lot in, in songs. So again, this is the inverted one. Now you're probably guessing why can't we just flip it around uh, the other way. So the left hand plays the same as the original. And the right hand will go. This is also quite nice. That's the other inverted way. Now there's also something he does at the end where the song gets really, really vibrant. He goes... He changes the arpeggio pattern. It's no longer... The very end he, he'll be playing. And I think the left hand continues to go what it used to go. At least I like to play it this way. Play the original in the left. And in the right new arpeggio so that's these three notes a flat g e flat so now move this there repeat come down to c you can get a bit cluttered up but that's how it's done so uh, whole thing with the left Incredible harmony. Okay, so we've looked at the original and we've inverted it, inverted it the other way. Was that the other way? Not really. That way. And then we did the ending which he plays this way. That's my favorite part of the song. Because the piano adding that wall of harmony. 
right guys so this is clocks by coldplay hope you found the lesson useful and to supplement this you can always download our notes on patreon the notation for this entire song uh, tutorial the exercises are all waiting for you there there's a midi as well and there's the original muse score notation which i did in an open source app called muse score which you could also download right now you can find it in the description head over to the site get the software if you're if reading works for you if you are not into reading i think it's also fine you can still figure out this song or any song for that matter right this is jason from nathaniel stay tuned cheers